Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're back again with another war video and this time we're up against ASR. We're still on path 4 in section 1 except I'm not doing the first node because uh, it was Killmonger and he might of mind took care of that one. Uh, but I will have the kind of like joint combine node at end of path 4 in section 1 as well as a couple of other interesting fights later on. And we're going to have some boss action. Unfortunately now though uh, the boss was not going to be the brightest moment of my fighting examples either way so we're up against the nick fury now so uh we always love some nick on nick violence this time i do have the bigger nick though because i have a rank three six star nick fury on my side uh facing off against the rank five five star nick fury on this uh, spite aspect of war node and it is quite an annoying fight but so far we're definitely doing a good job uh as soon as we basically bring him down to uh first uh well life moral decoy as soon as we destroy that uh the fight is kind of like in control already because i am at 100 percent health nothing much to worry about there and uh it shouldn't have too much trouble basically if we land another combo i think we should be pretty much able to finish it off now that i thought i will get in the intercept it was a bit risky play and i did lose some health but in the end it doesn't really matter all that much uh we did apply another big light bleed i uh, successfully tricked ai into throwing a heavy attack another a uh, light hit and level one and the fight is over just in a minute mark so that wasn't anything like too complex or too tricky i'm actually kind of like uh fairly confident using nick fury against nick fury on that note and next fight is going to be absolutely horrible i don't even know why i played as badly as i did we will manage to get through that uh, mr sinister but i will make so many mistakes in here and get slapped about luckily warlock though has like a really really great matchup here so uh we are going to manage to uh escape this fight relatively unscathed so obviously initially i do want to kind of like build up to uh, my infection obviously we have siphon so i do need to be careful when i'm blocking and all that stuff and then i go to punish him when he's unstoppable because for whatever reason i didn't pay enough attention now he isn't unstoppable but i'm kind Kind of like waiting and delaying this whole thing i'm going again and that unstoppable triggers and i'll just make so many mistakes i'm definitely not used to kind of like dealing with this note either way so here i did not drop my level two for whatever reason pushed myself to level three which was not the plan all my three quake away charges have already be been consumed now i'm dropping a level three which i thought at the time might potentially even push mr sinister to his level three so at this point i was absolutely scared pantsless uh, but uh luckily didn't so <laughs> we bait out the special attack plus the power drain kind of triggers and uh, now i think somewhere at this point i managed to refocus myself and we will be able to finish out this fight relatively well from this point forward but uh, the mistakes had already been made now obviously there are brute force triggers on myself as well which is another thing to keep in mind now i do finish another full combo bet out special attack he's nearly down so we're not doing too bad and as i said yeah uh after i kind of like acclimatized uh well got used to the node and stuff it wasn't too bad but the start of this fight was poor <laughs> extremely poor and uh, next up, uh, when I woke up in day two, we are on path uh, six. Uh, so I don't normally end up taking this path, but basically this node had something to do with armor ups and basically uh, opponent can consume an armor buff to reduce the damage to zero. But again, I don't think it's a really good node for Colossus in my opinion, just because uh, you immediately get rid of all of the armors early on in the fight and then when Colossus has no armors he's not really all that intimidating or scary so it was a fairly easy fight nothing too difficult on absolutely shredding through this Colossus healed up my warlock a bit and uh, yeah we're ready to go in we have class advantage that limited immunity doesn't really disturb us and uh, we're doing well <laughs> there's not much to kind of like go it's a very simple very basic fight not much that can go wrong uh, we drop a level two that already does a whole bunch of damage every time he would gain an armor buff somehow uh, it gets consumed by the node so he's spending the entire fight without any armor buffs and uh, yeah it's over <laughs> a minute fight 
no suicides i don't think i boosted at all or if i did then a very minimalistic boosting uh, happening here and then we are up against uh, morningstar uh, once again so this one this one is no retreat uh as a main problem fight i'm just gonna bring in warlock now i should have probably brought in quake that also would be a relatively easy matchup because i could just parry in heavy uh without ever really having to dash back and then i wouldn't have to worry about no retreat but siphon could make it uh, fairly costly so i figured i might as well try and bring in warlock he's bleed immune anyways and the fight shouldn't be too bad now i did make a mistake there i triggered no retreat on myself unfortunately but uh, all in all we are doing well the fight is well underway i'm not too worried we are also consistently draining morning stash power which works out uh, well in my favor obviously siphon does increase the block damage that i'm taking but i'm trying to be relatively conservative with my parries and blocked hits and this fight is over again in like 40 seconds or something so not a tricky fight at all next up we are going to be dealing with a nova and now this fight is going to be a bit trickier uh, mainly because of the limited immunity on this node uh, and the fact that i'm going to be using quake so quake normally has absolutely no problems with nova because every single time when he dashes at you you would have concussion debuff on him and he would not gain any power uh, however because of the limited immunity he's still able to gain power as he's dashing in and out uh, of trying to strike you and that means he gets to a bar of power and there's not much you can do about it at that point and uh, that was enough for him to get to a level one now luckily one level one wasn't really uh, in danger of knocking me out if i don't make uh, many other mistakes so as soon as the limited immunity wears off we can see that we have completely stopped his power gain and since we're not striking him he's not gaining any power so uh as soon as yeah that limited immunity went away expired uh the fight is under control you know absolutely nothing to worry about we're not going to be trying to hit him or anything like that so we are ignoring all of his abilities and we can see here that slowly but surely that uh, noah is going down and uh, there is not much he can do about it as long as we don't make a mistake ourselves is that three percent health and uh yeah the fight's pretty much over took us a bit over than a minute and 20 seconds to close out this fight uh did take a level one to the face but it couldn't really be helped in this situation i guess and then we are going to be going up against emma frost now i have quaked this emma frost but it's extremely difficult fight to quake because of the increased physical resistance she has in diamond form and also the fact that she's stun immune. So this time I figured I might as well have a little bit of fun and I'm gonna bring in Nick Fury because if something bad should happen, I still have the second life and Nick Fury is rank three. And since this node has safeguard, but Nick Fury has very potent bleeds, this matchup should work out relatively well. I do have class disadvantage in this fight, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Now, the only thing that I might have been slightly worried about would be the speed of the fight and whether I can take down Emma in time. Uh, but for the most part, if I would feel that I'm pressured in finishing this fight quicker, I would just uh, kill off my Nick Fury on purpose, I guess. Uh, but uh, looking at the timer, we're well within the time limit. We are trying our best to actually play as the light bleeds, which do more damage, making sure she stays in telepath form and not in diamond one uh, for as long as we can. And uh, overall, that seems to be doing the job. So a uh, minute in the fight, she's at 50%. So the fight should close out at some point before two minute mark has passed. And uh, yeah. Uh, relatively easy if you're comfortable fighting Emma Frost, especially all the increased power gain she may get uh, because of having debuffs on her, I believe. Uh, does kind of help to manage the fight easier and make sure she stays in telepath form for a vast majority of it. And now minute and a half in fight, she only has like 7% health left there. Another combo, the fight is over, not much to worry about. Now, this was also coinciding with the time I was doing my Abyss streams, so I cleared up as much as I could, and next time I checked, all the mini-bosses were down. 
and since we had already lost the war i decided to give it a go and here's gonna be like one crucial error i definitely should not have added those boosts on now the first fight i'm gonna make like a silly mistake early on i'm getting hit on a purpose there to enter my like fury's fury and increase my damage output but afterwards i'm just gonna miss like a parry input or something and he's gonna take me out extremely quickly when i'm only gonna be able to take off like 10 percent of his health but i should not have boosted i definitely should not have boosted uh just because i'm gonna end up triggering his protection later on far too often uh, but yeah anyway so i messed up the first fight and uh, not that i was too upset about it we had lost the war didn't have like too much riding on it anymore so uh, i still wanted to get in a bit more practice and feel out nick fury against the thing so i revived him used a couple of potions obviously because it's nick fury there is no point in healing any more than that, uh, pretty much. And we're going to go back in again. And the next run is, in fact, going to be quite a bit more successful. And uh, base idea is I just need to drop, like, two level ones, and then I'm sorted, and then I can choose whichever special attacks I want to use. Nick Fury is really good against thing in a sense that I can manage the rock stacks extremely easily, plus I can find out my openings extremely easily as well and i do have the class advantage but as i mentioned before there is always a tricky line of how hard you're kind of technically allowed to hit thing and if you hit too hard then you start triggering protection at all times and uh, then you just deal no damage here you can see that uh, my medium crits were the ones that were triggering the protection. I could uh, crit on light attacks and everything would be fine, but medium crits are the ones that were the problem. So next time I fight uh, the thing, I'm probably just gonna try and do it unboosted completely and uh, then see how that works out. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned before, it is easy to manage rock stacks with Nick Fury because every combo you do trigger bleeds guaranteed. And uh, with that, it gives you like a really good control over the fight. Additionally, the fact that uh, you are unblockable is obviously extremely helpful. And we're making a good progress. Uh, it's just quite not quick enough because of that protection. And here we can see again, as long as medium doesn't crit, uh, we're fine. We're not triggering protections. So we're somewhere on borderline that mark. So I would probably try and run the same setup I had and avoid champion boost, which would be 20% attack increase. Maybe just use the small 10% attack boost for this fight. And then I think I could actually manage to solo. Don't think it would be that difficult. Uh, but yeah, so here uh, we can see that I'm running low on time because the protection keeps triggering, unfortunately. And... Uh, the thing is currently at 35%. I have a minute left. It's kind of like tight. I'm hoping maybe I can make it. But remember that I didn't start at 100%. I started at about 90%. And uh, yeah, I will end up timing out. I will not mess up this fight, but I'll still time out. And uh, that's unfortunate. But it's a learning experience, so I don't mind it at all. As I said before, it didn't really affect the war as uh, we had already lost it. It was a fairly close war but still we didn't manage to come out on top which is unfortunate we are a bit rusty because we didn't take last couple of seasons overly serious certainly not the last one uh, where we were focusing on abyss uh, so we have a bit of catching up to do and getting some things in order i'd say uh, but it's okay it's not too kind of like big deal uh, at least not anymore in my opinion and yeah here we can see that seven seconds left uh we are doing decent amount of damage but he's gonna be left on uh four percent here so yeah we timed out while well, things on four percent unfortunate but happens then i did want to go in and finish him off but somebody else jumped in ahead of me and <laughs> uh that's fine uh Either way, that will do for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the buttons. And uh, I will catch you guys soon. See ya.